Hi, everybody. Welcome back to WGK Glass Art. Uh, Sandra and I are here again where we'll be, well, not we, Sandra will be making a snake today. Unfortunately, it is very, very rainy here. It's not sunny. Even though she'll be using dichroic, I won't be able to demonstrate how the dichroic really, really shines in the sun. But I'm going to turn you over to Sandra now. So we've decided on a two-color dichroic snake. This, these are the two colors that we are using. Um, so that is a, an emerald green. It looks a bit more bluish in this, this time, but that's the emerald green and that's a uh, cover. So what I need first is to cut a piece the same length from each color. As always with the dichroic, I need to reheat it before I start working really on it, which means I'm gonna put this tip on the, on the handle and then add the other one on top. And I hope it doesn't fall apart as it sometimes does in the middle of it all. Okay. There it is. <laughs> Very nice. Sometimes it just doesn't want to go with me. But at least it, it didn't completely fall apart. Sometimes also the dichroic doesn't want them. It just splits in half or something. Oh weird. no. Something weird. For no reason at all. Are you able to reuse it at that point? same piece but usually I then use it for like hummingbirds or something where I need a smaller piece. Hi Paula and Frank and Terry thank you guys for joining us this afternoon. So what Sandra's doing now is attaching the two pieces of dichroic dichroic glass together hopefully It'll cooperate with us today. It has to. We have to convince it. So again. <laughs> so as Sandra said at the start of the video, um, the bluish colored dichroic is called emerald green. And the other is purple dichroic, which she is. In the sun, you can see it much more than it shines more green and blue. Okay. In the, in the shadow, it's usually more bluish. And there is. Mm -hmm. I think the exciting part with the dichroic, like, did we get it hot? Right. <laughs> it falls apart. Part. <laughs> <laughs> I think that part is, is gone by now and it's quite hot. Seems okay so far. Now I need to reheat it and then press it together without creating too many air traps in there. And if you guys would please share this video with your friends and family. We would like for all to see our creations here. And you can also find many, many more on our website at wgkglass.com.
So what Sandra's gonna do now is take clear glass to coat the dichroic. Sandra, how many layers of clear glass would you say you have to put on over the dichroic? Three or four. For this item. I wish I won. <laughs> and is that a black stripe there? Yeah. And what's that for? Well, I always feel that there is a gap in between the two layers on the sides. Okay. And um, it's the easiest to just fill it with some black. Yeah. Putting them in the video too. No, absolutely not. <laughs> not in that mannerism. That is none other <laughs> than Thomas. <laughs> okay. Sorry for the brief interruption, everyone. <laughs> Sandra, tell us a little bit more about what you're doing. Well, I changed the handles and I made the other end really nice and smooth. And now I can continue adding more layers of clear. Oh, wow. Can I get a closer look at that? Yeah. Look how beautiful that dichroic is. Turn it right to the side. Now it looks more green. The emerald green looks more green than blue. It looks blue. more green, yeah. Everybody, I know it looks like just like a glob right now. <laughs> yeah. But you'll soon see the magic. It, it, it always, it, it's even more a glob when I, I've added all the, the layers. <laughs> it looks even more like a glob. Yeah. But it, it's gonna change. Really, the, the real magic really happens, I think, in the last uh, quarter, I would say. Okay. Really, the most of the time I, I need to really get all the claws together in the right places without adding too many efforts mm -hmm. because that will make it break in the end. If they are small, that's still fine, but if they get a bit big, bigger, then not a good idea. Mm. That kind of glass just doesn't like it. Hi, Michael. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I know you're just tuning in, so I'll give you a brief update of what Sandra's making today. And I know this item is, in real life, is not most people's favorite. <laughs> so Sandra is making a snake today um, with dichroic glass.
So she's still putting layers of clear glass on top of the dichroic. I know this process seems a bit boring, but if you guys stay with us, then you'll get to see the end results, which is quite fascinating. So the snake is one of our newest creations for this year. Um, yesterday's live video was also one of our new creations, one of the hummingbirds that Sandra and Thomas came up with this year. Um, and the snake was, well, it's sort of a recreation, right? The snake, mm -hmm. because we've made snakes before, but not as spectacular as these, um, which was recreated last month. I remember I was just getting ready to go on vacation and I stopped over to say hi, or rather to say bye to the team. And I saw what they had done and I was just so excited. Mm -hmm. you came in and you said, oh, I always wanted to tell you when you need some better snakes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then voila, there they there were. They were. <laughs> Already done. Yep. It was so exciting. And if you guys have... Does make me a genie? Oh, you are a genie. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Hi, Samantha. And if you guys have visited our website already, you've probably already seen the snakes there. But here you'll get to see the magic of them being created. And as you can see, the process takes quite some time to heat everything up and... Yeah, get everything added. I think I need all that rod. Wow. It still needs to go on there. So Sandra is saying that she probably needs that whole, the rest of that clear glass rod to yep. cover the dichroic. As you can see, we use quite a, quite a bit of material here and energy and skill. We cannot forget the skill. And I know I probably say this almost every video, but Sandra's a 27 year veteran with glass. So as you can see, she, she loves it and has been so dedicated to making sure that she grows in her field. She always says that there's room for improvement, right? Always. Even though she's already perfect. No. Nah. Absolutely. <laughs> Would you guys agree that Sandra's I perfect? What, I know what I'm doing, but I'm not perfect. I don't see myself as perfect yet. I'm sure a lot of our customers do. So again, guys, when you're looking for the perfect gift for yourself or for others, our website is wgkglass.com. If you're here in the Chester County, Philadelphia, um, Maryland, Delaware area, we're in Tough Kinnaman, Pennsylvania. Our address is 1255 Newark Road in Tough Kinnaman.
And you can also find us on Etsy. Uh, we are, we're just, I guess that those are the only two shopping tools that we have online. But you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. We're all over the place. And you can find us on shows. And on shows. That's right. Thank you. Our next show is The Heart of Lancaster coming up next weekend in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. After that, we'll be at the Mushroom Festival in Kennett. And that same weekend is the Brandywine Festival in Wilmington, Delaware, where we'll also be. Um, then in mid-September, which you can find, whoa, you can find all of this information on our website under events. Um, we'll be in Tarrytown, New York at the Lynnhurst Crafts Festival. Those are our shows for September. Wow. Look at that. And then we have the glass rod here, heating on the preheater. Not a complete rod, but yeah, almost. That is the next handle that I need. Okay. I'm always I'm changing from the smallest. That was the one where I was holding the dichroic, just the dichroic with it. Then I changed to this one. And now it's a big blob. And to really be able to handle the amount that it doesn't um, jump off the, the handle or anything. So I need to change to something bigger. Again. Something heavier. Something that can hold the weight. One, which is the one that I'm putting on the tail, and, and this one will be at the front, so that one's the next, and then okay. that's what, what I get used to doing when I do the snakes to make sure they really stay where I want them to. So because that, that glass blob, so to speak, is so heavy, you need a thicker glass rod? Exactly. Right now, it's, it's, it works with the small one too, but I'm always a bit afraid when I get in this direction with the flame that this one gets hot too, too early. Mm -hmm. So I need something that is a bit bigger and still can stand a certain amount of temperature. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Look at that glowing glass, guys. That was almost a tongue twister. Look at that glowing glass, guys. <laughs> like I said earlier, guys, share, share, share this video. If you would, please. I'm sure there are a lot of glass enthusiasts out there or just others who don't know about the process that it takes to create these figurines and ornaments. And of course we would, we would say, don't try this at home. Come to WGK Glass Art and try it. Soon, hopefully, we'll be having classes. I'm sure that is exciting to a lot of people also. It starts to really get at least some rounded shape instead of just being a block. And I need to fix the other side. And we can start on really make a snake of it. Woohoo! Woohoo! You guys ready?
Michael says, hello, aus dem Schwarzwald? Aus dem Schwarzwald, yeah. Aus dem Schwarzwald. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Black Forest in Germany. Okay. He's saying he's from the Black Forest? Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope all is going well there in the Black Forest, Michael. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of That's twisting it. and turning. God, what did you want to say, Sandra? That's how it starts. So this is going to be the tail end. Tell us the purpose of the wood that you have here. That really is to straighten out um, the snake a bit. But I can see that it's laying on the, on the straight on the floor or on whatever shelf it is on. Um, so it doesn't lay whole. Um, what would you say that? that it's, 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 it's stable, it lays flat, flat sort of. Flat, mm -hmm. yeah. We could say flat. More or less for adjusting. And I always use that wood because it doesn't create a lot of stress in the glass. Okay. What materials would create stress in the glass? Uh, well, for it? example, if you use a metal or if you use that coal plates that we have here, those, uh, what are they called? I don't know. Can I see well, them? Those. Okay. I'm not sure what these are. <laughs> see, I should have looked that up. <laughs> That's good. Let's bend. Nice, like, like that warm wood. Mm -hmm. oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. I love the smell too. Mm -hmm.
it's going to be quite a beautiful serpent. Oh, this is the head. Yeah, I try to position the head and I try to give it a first simple shape that we can see if it's if it looks all right that's usually the stroke that i do for the nose i need to put some clear underneath hi veronica thank you for joining us So this clear glass that Sandra just attaches for the lower jaw of the snake. Yeah. This is my favorite part. <laughs> the eyes. No, yeah, that's not the eyes. Oh, the, I mean, oh, you're doing the mouth right now. I'm doing the mouth, yeah. I just yeah, I thought of the eyes thing. because of that tool. Yeah, 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 that, that comes again. That tool comes again. So now it has some jaws. Now comes your favorite part. <laughs> the eyes. I get a little closer. That's the moment when you really have to have steady hands. <laughs> right. No shaking around. And not around. Kim over your shoulder. <laughs> no shaking around. Oh, that doesn't matter. That part I can't do. For example, when I was just walking, or lifting something heavy or something, I can't do that part.
Is it the nostrils? Mm hmm. There you are. And there there's is. a snake. Isn't she beautiful? Yes. What are we going to name her? I don't know. <laughs> and of course, if it once it has cooled down, I'm gonna put it over here now. Once it has cooled down, I have to reheat, re reheat the the end of the tail and stretch it out again, and uh, out again a bit. Mm -hmm. Cut it. Let it really cool, cool, cool. Thank you, guys, so much for joining us this afternoon. I hope you're having a great Friday. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks.